Hi, I'm Alex and today I'll show you how to crawl an e-commerce website using Crawler, one of the newest features of our Scraper APIs. Crawler lets you spider any website, select useful content and have it delivered in bulk. Let's see how it all looks in practice. Crawler has several endpoints you can use to control the service, or at least Postman to showcase the process. To begin, choose the post method and specify the jobs endpoint of a Crawler API and create a new Crawler job. In the Authentication tab, fill in your API user credentials. Next, add the content type equals application slash JSON request header. Then in the body, set the type to raw. I'll show you how to configure the payload in just a bit. The following example will showcase how to extract web data, in this case HTML results, from an e-commerce website. Now let's jump to the payload configuration. Start by adding the URL parameter that indicates the starting page. Next, add the filters parameter to control the breadth and depth of the crawling process and to determine the inclusion of URLs in the end result. The process and crawl filters rely on regular expressions to decide whether an action should be performed with a URL or a result associated with it. Let's take a closer look at the filters. Crawl filter lets you specify which URLs, in addition to the URL of the starting point, are to be scraped and checked for more URLs. Newly found URLs are evaluated against the regular expressions of the filter. If it's a match, the URL is scraped to look for subsequent URLs. The process filter specifies which URLs should be included in the end result. Once again, URLs are compared to the process filters. If it's a match, the URLs or the contents of the URL will be included in the job result. Take note that you can specify as many regular expressions per filter as you like. The value of the max depth filter determines the maximum length of the URL chains that crawler is set to follow. Note that minus one is the default setting resulting in a crawl without any depth limits. In most cases, however, you will want to set the value of this parameter to something more restricted, as every URL crawler successfully scrapes will be included in your invoice. After setting up the filters, add scraping parameters to fine tune the way of performing scraping jobs. For instance, you may want to execute JavaScript while crawling a site, or may prefer to use proxies from a particular location. Set geolocation to target a custom location. You use source to specify a scraper and add user agent type to indicate your device type and browser. If the website you're trying to crawl relies on JavaScript to display useful content, set the render parameter value to HTML. Then, to determine your final output, add the, the output parameter. Three types are available. Sitemap returns a list of URLs. Parsed returns a JSON file containing an aggregate of parse results. And HTML returns a JSON file containing an aggregate of HTML results. To wrap up the setup, follow up with the upload parameter to describe a cloud storage location for your results. Use storage site to define the cloud storage platform and storage URL to determine the exact location. Now, let's send a request to start crawling. And that's it. That's all it takes to start crawling at scale. Keep in mind that the crawling process can take a while. You can use other crawler endpoints to check the crawling job status, download the results, or stop and resume your crawling job. Once the job is done, you can download the result from us or find them in your cloud storage. Easy to set up and highly customizable, Crawler performs URL discovery by indexing all pages on a website. You can find all the endpoints, values, and parameters with in-depth explanations in our documentation by clicking on a pop-up in the top right corner or by following the links in the video description below. I hope this video gave you an idea of how to set up and customize your crawling tasks. Give Crawler a try and don't hesitate to share your experience in the comments below this video. If you need guidance or have any inquiries about Crawl or any other Oxilab solution, feel free to contact us via the 24-7 live chat and email. To see more content like this, smash that subscribe button as well as like and share this video on your social media. Thank you for tuning in. This was Oxilabs and we hope to see you next time.